Welcome to Field Maps Overview. This video will cover how to toggle visible map layers, change the base map, measure a distance between two points, and get coordinates of a dropped pin. First, let's talk about how to toggle visible map layers on field maps. Open your Fire web map. A web map consists of many layers that can be turned on and off to change your view of the map. To look at the layers included on your web map, go to the top bar and click on the layer symbol. Here, you can see all the different layers included in your map. The layers with the check marks and boxes next to them are layers that are turned on. To turn off a layer, simply uncheck the box. Here, I'm turning off the event polygon and the perimeter line. Now, when I go back to the map, I can see that these layers have been visibly turned off. To turn them back on, just reopen the layers and recheck them. Next, let's talk about how to change your base map. To change your base map, click the three dots in the top corner and click Base Map. Here, I can see that I only have the default base map available. This is because I'm in my offline map. In my offline map, I can only see the base map that I have downloaded. You can only change the base map on online maps. To do this, return back to your online map, open it, and click the three dots in the top corner. Click Base Map again, and here you can view all the different base map options. Right now, I'm turning on the imagery option. Changing the base map can help give you a new perspective of your area. However, it's important to remember that you can only do this on an online map when you have cellular or Wi-Fi connection. Next, let's talk about measuring the distance between two points. Open your map and again in the top corner, click the three dots. This time, we're going to select measure. This opens the measure tool. Here, I'm going to measure the distance between an internet access feature and a drop point. Adding my points draws a line and on the bottom, I can see the total distance between the two points. You can also keep adding points to measure total distance or even draw a polygon and calculate the total area. Finally, we're going to gather coordinates of a drop point on the map. First, let's navigate back to Field Maps homepage. We want to make sure that our device is using the correct coordinate system. Click the profile icon in the top corner. Now, under General, click Units. Here, we have the option to change our coordinate system. By default, we have automatic coordinates generated. The NIFC standard coordinate system is degrees decimal minutes, so let's select that one. Now, we're ready to collect our point. Navigate back to your map. Let's gather coordinates by dropping a pin. Dropping a pin allows you to gather information about a location without having to add a point or edit the map. To drop a pin, hold your finger down on the area you would like to gather coordinates. After a second, your pin is dropped. You can now view information for that pin, including the coordinates.